Hello, I'm Chad Spearman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Zoetis. According to the latest data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration, U.S. ethanol production surged to the highest level in nearly a year and a half. In recent weeks, the industry has started the transition from historically low old crop corn supplies into more abundant new crop corn supplies. New crop corn supplies are becoming more available as harvest progresses, but the harvest pace is lagging the historical averages and it will take some time to replenish the supply pipeline. According to the USDA, 39% of the U.S. corn crop was harvested as of October 20th, lagging behind the five-year average of 53% harvested and the 10-year average of 54% harvested. With corn harvest underway, U.S. ethanol production is on the rise and averaged 897,000 barrels per day for the week ending October 18th. Weekly production rose to the highest level since mid-June 2012, which was the turning point where corn prices rallied higher and ethanol production declined sharply as margins turned negative. Ethanol production tends to rise seasonally throughout the fourth quarter of the year and then decline throughout the following first quarter. The USDA is currently projecting corn use for ethanol and byproducts at 4.9 billion bushels for the 2013 and 14 corn market year. That market year runs from September 2013 through August 2014. The increased corn use for ethanol amounts to about a 5% increase compared to last market year's total of 4.7 billion bushels. Increased ethanol production means increased availability of distillers grains for the livestock feeding industry as well. However, strong export demand for dry distillers grains has been noted and is expected to limit the increase in domestic availability in the months ahead. The fed cattle market was two to mostly three dollars per hundred weight higher this week. In the north, the bulk of the trade occurred at 133 to 134 dollars on a live basis and 208 to 210 dollars on a dress basis. In the south, the bulk of the trade was at 132 dollars with a full range of 131 to 133. Box beef prices moved higher on the week as asking prices moved sharply higher in response to the higher fed cattle market. Demand is improving as buyers need to add to their current inventories. Feeder cattle values were steady to $2 higher for the week, while calves were steady to as much as $5 higher. Demand is good for all classes of replacement cattle. Slaughter cows were primarily steady this week. Corn futures prices settled one to two cents per bushel lower for the week. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at cattlefacts.com.